Good night, guys. We start today amazing show with Fred Mastro and Master Flavio Betting. We talk only about self-defense, and I call now here Grandmaster Flavio Betting. Hi, Master. How are you? Very well, thank you. Fantastic. Ready to start. And now we can start, eh, Master. And now we call here Mr. Fred Mastro, specialist in self-defense. How, Mr. Fred? How are you? Fine, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have the both big monsters in self-defense in the world here with us. Our, I, I believe our show is too much hot today, too much <laughs> interesting. Uh, I want to, to start our live uh, talking about the situation of self-defense in the world. We know Jiu-Jitsu starts in 1920 and the self-defense system is adapted for this time. Yeah, Master? And, yes. of course, the, 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 um, the situations in the world, the, the behaviors in the world change with the time. And today we need to adapt these things, these techniques for today. I know uh, about your opinion, Master uh, Flavio and Mr. Fred Mastro, about this, uh, this subject. Okay, let me, let me say something. Well, for, for sure, every, every time... Uh, that you start thinking about self-defense, you have to think about human behavior. So, what what uh, what makes the self-defense uh, good or not good? It's human behavior. Okay. Uh, considering that, since uh, the beginning, uh, I'm talking about the Gracie self-defense way. It was started in. Uh, 1930, something like that. And I started learning it on uh, late uh, late 40s. But I, I may say to you that as human, be human behavior have been changing, we have to adapt the way we practice self-defense considering what is going to be happening nowadays. So on my opinion, that's what I'm, do uh, I'm doing all my time, all my life. But uh, now I think it's a self-defense way that I teach is uh, is based on uh, simple, very simple moves considering reality. But when you talk about reality, this man here, Fred Mastro, uh, is a friend of mine that I respect a lot. It's a person that has been working on self-defense uh, for based on reality all his life. So, and uh, I believe that Fred has a lot of things to say about it. How about that, Fred? What do you think? Yeah. First, I would like to thank you. I'm very honored to be part of this with you, Grandmaster. You are a big inspira inspiration for me, for my MDS style and for my self-defense for sure. Um, I like to say that the violence change. The violence 15 years ago is not the same mm -hmm. that now. And many martial art was created for the war or for defend the self. Now it's a sport. When you see now the new Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's a sport. There's, there's, there's one point. This is what I like in Birang Jiu-Jitsu because Birang Jiu-Jitsu is not for sport. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, for me the best. And, and when I have a problem, I remember every time you said to me, first position, control, and this is what I use every time. I don't try to make point. And it saved my life many times too. But the violence now, so many years ago, we don't talk about MMA in Europe. We don't talk about uh, some, some more Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And now... I would love to say that all the bad guys, they train MMA and they train BGG too. And we need to adapt for the new violence. And now the new violence, it's completely different. Before, they have many fights for honor. This is finished. Now they, they attack you for five euros. They attack a woman for nothing. They attack for free. And you need to adapt for the new violence. And depending what is your job too. If you are a police officer, if you are security guys, if you train just for survive, this is what MDS is. It's now it's more tactical, self-defense, just to take the good technique at the good moment. But now the violence is completely different. 
completely different. And Brazilian Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, well, I'm a big fan, you know. I'm a but I'm a big fan of Berang Jiu Jitsu for sure, because for me it's the real one. The, the what is the most important is the base. Is not to make point, and they change this. And now the problem is many guys they think that only BGG is the best or only the MMA is the best. But depending the situation, depending where you are, depending the clothes. Many, many control, impossible with a T-shirt. It's impossible. <laughs> but when I train, the, for me, the hold and the reel, BGG with you and with Frank Bales, my instructor of BGG, it's just to control the arm, not just uh, to control the suit. And this is why I adapt this for MDS. You, you are a big, big inspiration for MDS, Master. You need to know this. You know this. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, and I, I need, think yeah. I, I'm working when I work in security and when I tra when I teach the police. If I teach the special force or military, what is the job is to finish the fight or to kill the guys or to finish the fight. If you are security guys, bodyguard or police officer, your job is not to finish the fight, it's to control the guys. This is completely another way. And to control the guys, you need to have the knowledge of BGG. If you don't have knowledge of BGG, only MMA, you punch the guys. But when you are professional, you cannot punch the guys. If you, are, if you do a control, you need to control. And after, to be relaxed, when the guy is controlled, you can stop. Like this is more secure for you and for the attacker too. This is what I love and this is what you need to, to, to train when I teach security, VIP protection, bodyguard. is not to fight. It's not to run. It's not to go on the ground and jujigatame and triangle. This is not good. In this situation, this is why I like to train all the style, the good technique at the good moment. This is this is very important. But in security and police, uh, Matalion choke, uh, all this is the best way. But for sure, you don't need to choke the guys 10 minutes. You don't need to put your knees on the throat of the guys 10, 8 minutes. This is the problem. This is not the technique, it's the man again. This technique is to help you to control the guys, is not to kill the guys. <laughs> this is why many people, they don't understand. They don't understand this. Yeah, uh, talking about, you said something very interesting. Because many times when we are together, uh, you, you show me some uh, specific techniques when you, when you work uh, with VIP, VIP persons. It's interesting, very interesting. Because you are not there to hurt anybody but to protect the person exactly so, then you have to know two different things one yeah to defend yourself to protect yourself and to protect someone so this is very interesting so can you tell a little bit more about this because i believe that this is something that there are many persons that are are, are here with us now they they don't understand exactly no. uh, how the thing yeah. works they don't understand because they don't work if you work like a bodyguard, you understand that if you punch someone in the face in front of camera, in front of journalists, or if you break the arm of the guys, or if you break the neck, it's finished. Your job is finished. This is very important. When you when you work like in security or VIP protection, your job is to avoid the fight. It's not to fight. <laughs> it's to avoid the fight. I train my guys. To, I, I tell to my VIP protection team, Train to avoid the fight, not to fight, because it's not your job. If you are with your client, sometimes, many times, you are alone. When I'm a bodyguard, 20 years, I'm alone with the client. How you fight against two or three guys is not possible, and protect your client is not to survive. Yeah, many times, you don't have weapon. Don't forget, it's not the street fight. It's not survival fight. In Europe, it's empty hand. No pepper spray, no baton, nothing. You know, empty hand. And uh, this is why you need to have some knowledge and some technique. This is in VIP protection, again, behind Jiu Jitsu, it was very important for me because I work with the body. I work with the balance of the body. If you need to control someone, you need to, to know exactly the balance of the body and your balance. This is most important. Uh, like I said in my team, I don't need, I prefer... Uh, Jiu Jitsu guys, traditional guys, or BGG, then Muay Thai or MMA. Because if he, if he have MMA or Muay Thai, what is his first reflex? To punch. 
and it's not good. This is why many people, they critique self-defense because they don't, they never work like a police or like a security guy. It's just another way. It's not the, it's not better. It's another way. You need to have knowledge for many styles and many people, they don't understand this because for many people now is the new, the new computer warrior, <laughs> the new computer warrior, only MMA, only MMA. And like we talked, they put my fights 15 years ago again in MMA. Yes, but I go. <laughs> I go, no, I know. After this, I go to you. I go to my instructor, yeah. Frank Bells, to train like many people in the world. And this is, for me, evolution. This is the evolution. You know, I, uh, I meet you some months before my fight. Yeah. And you tell, me, I, you tell me, Fred, are you afraid? If you remember in my dojo. I say, no, yeah. it's not sweet. I survive. It's not a problem. Tonight, I see my wife and I see my children. Yeah, maybe I go in hospital uh, one or two days, but it's not a problem. I fight every time in my life to survive. And yeah, it's a sport. Big respect, but it's a sport. But now this sport, the people, they have so many ego, you know, so many ego. Many times ago in your, in your, um, in your times, uh, master, when someone have a problem, he go to these guys, he punch the guys and let's go. Now, yeah, do you want to fight with me in MMA? Send me a contract. Your system is bullshit, blah, 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 blah. I said just, I'm a self-defense guy. Self-defense. What is self-defense? You come, you attack me, you don't send me a contract. You attack yeah. me, and after we can see. <laughs> but this is self-defense for me. This is the whole, I'm, the, I'm a whole school, you know. For sure, now I'm close to 50. I don't want to fight anymore. But if I need to fight for survival for my family, don't worry. But I'm ready to die. This is the difference. I'm ready to die. It's not important if someone beat me. Nothing changes my life. I go to train tomorrow. I'm afraid to die. This is the difference. And when you work like a VIP protection, your job is to protect the VIP and avoid the fight. 90% of the VIP protection is the vision, the situation awareness, you know, like uh, just to be aware, like my friend GC said, just to be aware. If you are aware, in self-defense too, Master, you can avoid 50% of the attack in the street. Sure. Many people, they don't look, you are on the phone, you don't look around you. This is MDS. MDS is not just a fight, it's just to be conscious. You can avoid the new world. It's free aggression for me. Many is free, it's for free, just yeah. Just look what's happened. Just look the hand of the guys. How many people? And another time, if you can avoid, avoid. It's not MMA ring or you go on the octagon and you go back home. In the street, That's you don't know if you go back home. That's it. Yeah, this is one of one my time. opinion. I'm, yeah, you, you're right. So I uh, remember one time we were discussing about self-defense and uh, then uh, your, your, your system. And... Uh, you said to me something very interesting. You said, it's like a camera. I take a picture of the whole thing, all the moves. I take the picture of, uh, of hands and legs, yeah. the way the person stabs, the way she, the, the person lo looks at me. So those points are very important. Yeah. How we look me? How we look me? How we look my VIP? What is the position of the body? What is the position of the hand? What is yeah. the position of the head? This is, this is what is beautiful when you work. And after this, the technique is in second point. It's not the first point. If you have all this, this is what we teach and we train in MDS. This is what the people, they need now to survive. Oh, it's, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, sometimes I get that. Sometimes internet is against us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this you is, know me, this is I'm important. so open. I'm so open like you, Grandmaster. We are open. This is why we grow. This is why many people, they follow us, because we are respectful. That's right. That's right. I remember, Fred, uh, because I know you for, I don't know, 20 years or something like that. I don't know. So uh, I, I remember many times uh, that you talk about your, your personal life and your... As a as a, a security person, and uh, how many injuries 
or not not only injuries, but you have been attacked with knives and things like that. Yeah. So you 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 have your own experience, like you are you were on the field, right? you were on the battlefield yeah. most of your life. So when you when you say something, that that's that's why uh, every time I am in Belgium and I can uh, and I can look after you and go to your seminars and uh, your classes. It's important important for me because uh, you you have so so much uh, sensibility because the way you live your life that's that's the point. So for how long have you been on on the streets? Now now not not, not anymore as before, but before I remember many things that you showed me so many so many cuts and things like that on your body. So. Well, tell me a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. This, people would like to see. Yeah, this is why I say so many times, you know me, I'm humble. I'm humble, Master. I say I'm not the best. I'm not the best, but I try my best. I try my best. This is completely different. Look, my body, you know my body. I'm not big guys. I don't need steroid. I don't need all of this because my eyes, my vision, and my awareness situation saved my life many times. Many times when you work on the nightclub, it's not one to one. This is the difference. You need to anticipation, in English antip anticipation. This is the best in security. And sometimes when you, I have two times three knife fight, and one time they cut me, one time they stab me, you don't feel the knife. You don't feel. You just feel the blood. Many times, many people, they don't know the blood is hot. When you feel the hot on your leg, you understand <laughs> many people they don't understand this is why now i try to be more more calm <laughs> you know me <laughs> i know you know me <laughs> yeah. yeah because because i say i i worked 23 years old in security four night <coughs> four night every week many pe many of people many of my students like your instructor frank bells you know me in uh, in security in security, you need to be professional, you need to be the highest, and you need to be a warrior mindset. The warrior, this is here. Yes. Because many times I work and the people, they punch me on the face. Many guys, they run. But if I'm in the street with my family, maybe I run to save my family. But when you work, I don't go back. I stay on my place, I stay on my place. I was 10 years responsible of 10 nightclub. And we have so many fights, so many fights. And this is the most important, just to, to understand when you have this kind of fight, of fight, this is why you, you respect the people, you respect the style, and you respect the human. Because it's another reality. Now, for the people, the only reality is octagon. Yeah. <laughs> is one of the reality, but this is not the only one. I say, look, I'm a stick fighter. Okay, let's go on the octagon, you MMA and me with a stick. The real one, huh? This is the street too. The real one. Or I go with the knife, the metal one, the, the fake one, but 100%. It's completely different. You need to adapt when you see, master, all the champion, the big champion, they train all the style. All the style. I have the chance to train with GSP, with Vanderlei Silva, they train Kali, they train knife, they train all the style. Because they uh, know the reality is the reality is all the style. It's not just one. Because now they call this MMA, mixed martial art. But they train only three styles. Boxing, <laughs> BGG, and wrestling. This is MMA, mixed martial art. <laughs> mixed martial art is all the style for me. It's not just three. Correct, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And so the good technique and the good moment. And sometimes it's six o'clock in the morning, the night is finished, no camera, nobody in the parking. It's another way, it's another, it's another way, it's another way. But again, no referees, no referees, no judges, no point, nothing, nothing. In the street, the most vicious is better than to have the big arm, just to be vicious. I'm not the best, but I'm the, focus, I'm the fucking most vicious. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's a, that's very important. Uh, one thing that uh, Juliano, do you have any question? 
Yes, uh, Master. Uh, Mr. Mastro, you talk about uh, building the mindset, the warrior mindset. How you do this with your students? How you build in this warrior mindset? But I think it's not for everybody. Some people don't have this, this uh, nourishment, this improvement. How you do to, to develop this in your students? Yeah, and this is why when I teach every seminar, every course, the first time I say, if you see the knife, run. Stop, run. All my seminar, but sometimes if you are a VIP or police officer, you need to fight against knife. This is the job. <laughs> For sure you need to run, but sometimes it's not possible. And I say to all my students, if you don't feel good with your mindset, if you are not strong in your body, run or run. Don't fight. Avoid the fight. And after, we train many for the conditioning. You know, Master, my conditioning, the harm, the harm, just to have the heat of the body when your body is um, it's not cold. Because when you train two hours, your body is hot. But in the street, yeah. many times when you fight, your body is not ready. That's right. And, the, and this is why you need to train to have heat when your body is not ready. Like this, it's a little bit uh, to have a chance to support when someone tries to, to beat you. And like this, you can avoid, you can take your gun, you can take your knife, or you can run. And this is why I train my student for the, the power, the power of the hit. This is why uh, they, they talk sometimes bad about my video, because I beat my student. Yes, but when my student have a fight in the street, he don't sleep early. You know, <laughs> this is why, this is why. And after you have the normal people, they come for self-defense. Our job is not only to train the people to fight, it's just to be better in the life, just to be better in the family, in the job. If you train BGG, MDS, all the style, it's important for the body, it's important for the mindset. I want to inspire people to become better. Yeah, the way of martial art, but you have many ways to be better. This is my way, like you, Master. You want to, to have a good people. You, I'm enjoy when we make a seminar together. We go to dinner. We go. We pass moment together. We explain. We meet people. This is this is our dedication. This is mine. This is yours too, uh, Master. And the people don't sing only about fight. This is this is the mistake. This is the mistake. We are. We need. Our job is to inspire the people and to help the people. You, with your knowledge, because you talk about me, Master, but you have many fights more than me. <laughs> you know the reality, too. I know you, Master, you know? Yeah, 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 that's but right. this is the reality, too, in your time. It's not 20-minute fight in the street. Yeah, I'm right. talking in the street. Huh? I'm not talking yeah. in the ring or dojo. In the street, it's not 10-minute fight. This is not, <laughs> this is not correct. In Europe, the fight is not five minutes. Huh? Impossible. 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 Yeah, and you have a bag, you have a, a big background about this too, Master. I know you. Yeah, because uh, when when you are on the streets and have a fight or attack or being attacked, remember people never people talk about. I saw a fight it was a, about ten minutes fight. No, it was all, almost one minute. One minute is an eternity yeah. in the street. So if you fight for one minute, the street man. You, you yeah. are a monster because it's very this, hard. This is why some people, they don't understand when you see video on internet in the street. It's because they arrange the fight. Okay, we fight. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. And now they fight five for ten minutes. It's boxing. But we are talking, you and me, Master, about aggression, correct? About self-defense. Yeah, right. It's not to that's go one-to-one right. -one and to have time, okay, mm -hmm. with uh, rules. No, attack or aggression. If you fight 10 minutes, you died. You died. <laughs> it's not possible. Yeah. I told to my student, an attack, you need to try to avoid, to escape the, the, the first attack. When someone attacks you with a knife, he's not an international expert. It's the first yeah. stab, is the most important. When you fight in the street, they try to kill you with the first stab. It's not like in Indonesia or Malaysia, or they fight knife against, against knife because it's school against school, you know? We are talking, you and me, about aggression. And again, don't forget in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the clothes, the clothes, 
This is very important. I saw so many fights in the street that a good Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he, he was uh, beaten because he tried and he grabbed and this is not good. And the other guys, he punched. don't forget to think about the gi. What is the material of the gi? Yeah. <laughs> it's strong. Yeah. It's strong. In the street, you don't have a strong like this. This is why, again, I try to adapt. And this is why when you come to my school to teach every year, I ask you more grappling. You know, grappling is not That's because right. it's better, because it's, it's more than we need for self-defense, you know? In self-defense, this is why I, I ask to you every time to have a big part of grappling. But mm -hmm. I love because when you train, it's not 10 moves. Like MDS, it's not 10 moves. Do you remember first time I asked to you, okay, someone is on, on you and he fight you? What is my job? And you show me how to break his arm as soon as possible, not to pass the guard, to go away, to make points. <laughs> you show me the direct line. This is what I, I love in your system too, sir. And this is what many new style I call modern Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Modern Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's for me more than for competition. I respect, huh? much respect, huh? but it's more to make point. And it's not I like, but it's not my job. <laughs> and, I, and I don't teach this. This is why, for me, I'm more fun than the old BGG than the new one. It's just my opinion. But I love both, no problem. <laughs> yeah, but if I, need to use, if I need to use, yeah. I use the old one, not the new one. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know something that was interesting, because uh, I became I became a little bit faster with my hands to avoid them being attacked. That I, I observing when you practice because you work so much with your hands so fast. This is very interesting because this is a different way of just grabbing a person, control a person. It's the, the, how fast you are with your hands. Not to not to be attacked and to uh, to protect yourself and to control a person and uh, and use your hands because when when you are fast with your hands that's that's one thing I learned with you when you are faster with your hand man it's so difficult for another person to uh, to uh, let's say to keep attacking you because it is is a uh, it is something that. It, it comes uh, so fast and it uh, surprise your opponent. Yeah. So this is interesting. Um, and like this? I'm, I'm, I'm using some of those, so those techniques. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, like, and like this, like you said, it's for me a tool just to, yeah. to close the distance, to take right. distance. It's a tool. It's not the my style. It's a, it's a tool. When yeah. you use the hand quickly and like this, you, um, your opponent, is not concentrated in one point. He need to look my leg, my hand, my right, my elbow, my this, my this, 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 and like this. After I make your BCG, I break the distance and I grab him, and I and we go on the ground. And okay. if he want to grab me, one of the my last fight uh, in a VIP security, he tried to slam me. You know, uh, and for me, it's the the most dangerous technique for me in the street when someone yeah. slam you. You can die for sure. And yeah. if I do penchak silat or boxing or Muay Thai, he kill me. My first respect, reflex, he was thinking about you. Position, control, balance. This is, and after this, I, I make my job. <laughs> I make, but <laughs> the beginning, if I don't use your style, this, this guys, he, or maybe he kill me, he try to, to slam, to, to, yeah. to slam me. Yeah, but my first thinking, if I'm a boxing guy, you try to, to box. But outside of the ring, you don't have map. This is the, this is the difference. Right. And That's first, I'm thinking again, when he grabbed me, okay, position, control, I put my leg down, I put my hips down, I try to survive about the first attack. And after this, he was surprised. He was surprised because after this, I have one second. But one second for me is good. Yeah, <laughs> one second. Enough. And I use this second. And after this, you can use all the style. It's not a problem. But you need yes. to know what's happened. You need to work Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You need to work Sambo. You need to work yeah. wrestling. This is very important too. But the most important is train for what you need. 
trend for what you want. What is the, the goal of your student? What, what they need? Now, in, in a, for the police, it's perfect. It's perfect. And after now, I mix this with my MDS to control. Uh, on the ground, it's the same. If all the police officers, if you, if you have the guys on the ground, in Croce, this is good because he cannot punch you, he cannot take your gun. This is good control. But this is the, always the same problem. All the police officers, they think they are the best, and this is the big problem. But this is why we, we try to help the police too, to have a good control on the ground. Like you said to me 20 years ago, I try, I try to avoid the punch. This, because if someone punch me or you five times, ten times, after this, <laughs> BGG or MDS, <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. I try to avoid the first punch and to, uh, to make a good position and good control. In security and VIP protection, it's uh, the best way. I remember one thing that always, always when I, I go to your place and you ask me to teach, uh, you you are kind of a person that like to uh, to uh, let's say to test to test every single move. I remember many times you ask someone to attack you, and then you for real, and then and then you to feel it. This is yeah. something very very interesting because uh, fake attack there's <laughs> nothing. Will not help yeah. you to, to understand how to do it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So uh, yeah. I remember the last time I was, we were together on a seminar, and I remember that you got someone on a on a neck crank, and uh, you did it. It was so 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 fast, and you asked him try to escape, and, and the person couldn't do it because it was so fast and so realistic. Yeah. So that. Is the point? Then you ask someone to get you with the same the same intensity, and yeah, because you, yeah, you got out. So it's yeah, because uh, again, I don't want to be the best, but I want to share the good move. I want to share the reality, and for this, I prefer me to receive a punch on my face because, like this, I can help my student. Because in the street, I'm not close to my student like you; <laughs> they are alone. But mm -hmm. if I try. I try to go close to the reality. We are the reality is only on the street, but you see all my seminar. If someone punch me, okay, punch me on the face, not ear, not ear, mm -hmm. punch me on the face because in the street he punched me on the face. And after That's this, that. it's like university. You know, I try to analyze, I try to study how to uh, to make the good technique to help the people and to help my student and the choke. Many people escape about on, about the choke, but my choke, nobody escaped to my choke. You see, <laughs> no, yeah. this is why again, I, I, not because I'm the best. This is the good way for all the people. If you have a, a small woman, and the guys the the guys attack a woman, you need to have a quick choke immediately. You don't have time one minute to choke the guys yeah. in street. I'm talking about in the street. Huh? Yeah. This is why I try every time in my seminar again it's a combination of reality and martial art it's just a combination mm -hmm. if i do this because don't forget in the street you have the stress the stress the the aggression you don't see the aggression and imagine you lose minimum 50 percent of your no of your knowledge that's right and if you don't have the good technique impossible to survive if impossible but if you have 100 percent uh, in the dojo, maybe in the street you can use 60, 60 70 percent. You understand? Uh -huh. But if you train 50 percent on dojo in the street, maybe you have 10 percent or 20 percent chance. Yeah. This is why it's hard MDS2. But uh, again, I'm respectful about all. I'm a big fan of MMA for sure. Now, MMA is changing for me. Now they are more more uh, robocop than human you know <laughs> that's right <laughs> this is the uh, reality too the the first uh, ufc it was the the beautiful one it was all the first ufc a man against a man yeah. now it's a steroid against steroid <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
cocaine against co cocaine against yeah. cocaine. This is reality. The people they don't like when I say this, but it's the reality. And after the cure in English, the cure, they are very uh -huh. good guys. They are very gentlemen. But three yeah. months before the fight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Master Flavio, do you have more question? I want. Yeah, no, no, we we could be here the whole day talking. But yeah, okay. it's amazing <laughs> chat. But I have, uh, I want to show one video, uh, with course of Master Mastro. I, I, I want to share here the video we watch and we come back to talk. I think it's good. I put this video because the people try, uh, can realize how works your MDS. Yes, good. situation and sometimes I need to execute fast the guy I think this is a part of training also in your class yeah, yeah. it's a uh, many many times you can see the again the eyes of the people the eyes of the person in front of you if you look into the eyes you can you can feel if it's a bad guy it's not a bad guy so I'm talking about 99% of the time uh, one time I lose two but it's very important the position if he close the hand behind the bag if he go with the hand and again the security distance you know sorry i understand yeah, uh, yeah. We, we keep and now this yeah, this case i was uh, the seminar was in corsica to a big big mma dojo they invite me to share and i try some move again in the street the champion of BGG don't attack people. The champion of MMA don't attack people. I'm always saying to my student, it's a bad guy. Yeah, you have perhaps maybe some knowledge of MMA or BGG, 
but he's not a champion. This is why you need to train BGG and little MMA too, just to avoid and to understand the style. But in the street, the champions, they don't attack people. The champions, they don't rap uh, women, you know. And this yeah. is why, again, I'm looking the position of the body. Because me, uh, master, you know, I start like normal position. I don't need to be like this. I start like neutral position. But 99% of the style in the street or the attacker, he take position before to attack, you know. He take position. And this is why. And I train, for sure, you see knife, you see gun, you see all this, many people. They said, but it's the background of the martial art. A master, you understand, when we train life, we train gun, because it's a background to understand the human is afraid about what he don't know. When you know the situation, you understand, and it's better for you to avoid again. If you understand the danger of the knife, trust me, all my students and all my instructors, they know the rules. If you have the chance to see the knife, run. I teach this every week, every week. And this is very important. Many people, they show knife. It's not good technique, for sure, because they don't realize <laughs> the reality of the knife. And this is why we train many, many, 50% of my courses knife and to have the mindset. You know, if someone attack people, a terrorist attack, if imagine a so, uh, terrorist attack, he, he kill people with knife, it, it kill many people because nobody go to help the people. If you go 10 guys on one guy with a knife, you can beat the guys. <laughs> this is the reality, you like, you like or not. But if you don't have the knowledge, run. This is what I said. In a VIP team, every, po every people is at the good place. Okay, you are not a good fighter, stay back. Maybe you are a good shooter, you know. Every people at the good place. And you need to use the good technique again at the good moment. And after, again, in the street, you need to avoid. A maximum, you need to avoid. If I'm with my wife and my children, trust me, I try to avoid. If I have a chance to avoid. Huh? If you attack me, I cut you, for sure. <laughs> if, you are, if I need to survive with my wife or my children, I cut you, for sure. But if I can avoid... I avoid because maybe the guys, he beat me in front of my, my wife and my children. And some stupid people, you see many videos on internet, they fight in front of the children. It's just incredible. They fight in front of the woman because they don't know the reality. But when you fight many times like me in a, in a nightclub and you know what is the fight, you don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> it's not a $1 million like UFC when you fight uh, in security bouncer. It's not $1 million. <laughs> Trust me, you don't need to move, to die for one for 100 euro. This is the reality. But again, you need to train every style. Look, when I train with the guys of Master Berang and my instructor, Frank Bels of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, why is he train live with me? Because at the beginning, he tried to control my arm. But I stab him 20 times in 10 seconds. I'm talking about 20 years ago, <laughs> not now. <laughs> I'm talking 20 years ago. Huh? And this is why now we share together. We share. I share my MDS. I'm going the ground. And why I'm the, I stay on the Behang Jiu Jitsu and Frank Bell's Academy now more than 20 years? Because when I started this, I was a name not on the internet, but I'm famous in security. You know, in my town, I was famous in security. And when I go to train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or MMA, the stupid people, they just want to beat me, not to teach me. You know, you understand? It's completely stupid. Yeah. Many you don't have you don't have bad student, only bad instructor, only bad teacher. If you are a good teacher, you have a good student. All my students they need to respect the people. If you are not in this philosophy, go away. I don't need you. If I have many if I have uh, fifty school in the world, it's because we are all in the same way. Respectful, train hard and shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good. <laughs> now, Fred, tell, tell us a little bit about your experience in movies. This was uh, interesting. I remember the first time you you made a, a, a choreography for I was Van Damme movie. That's right. Yeah. T tell us a little bit about this. It, it's interesting because 
you try you try to to make them uh, do some realistic moves in order yeah. to, uh, to be yeah that's right i just put the the charger on my phone two seconds okay okay yeah good yeah yeah we i know him now it's more than 20 years too it's a big martial art but when we play with a knife <laughs> <laughs> his visions change a little bit and after yeah he asked me to to choreography uh, some of his movie some of his movie just just to put the the real technique on the movie and now we have a, we are a very good relation. My student Sebastian Vandenberg, you know him. Uh, now yeah. he live in, you know him. Now he live in USA, uh, and he trained Liam Neeson for Tekken One, and uh, they, they they take my knife, my karambit for Tekken One, and we play knife, and this is the new vision of knife combat. And after mm -hmm. this, uh, now I'm, I work on thirty movie. So to maybe just to to choreograph, to create the fight, it's another way. It's good too. Is I love to put the real stuff for the movie, mm -hmm. and we try and we try to put the real stuff for the movie. If you see GCVD, you can see the movie Six Bullet. All the fight, all the fight is me with my student, and they play on it too. That's that's, that's yeah. great. You became you gave me. You became a movie actor. <laughs> I'm I'm old now. Okay. <laughs> I said, yeah. Yeah, it's a good moment. Uh, yeah, it's a good moment. Uh, it's again, it's another, it's another philosophy. It's another contact. It's another world. But uh, yeah, it's good. I love like martial art. I don't work in one style. I work on many. Security, VIP protection, fight choreographer, businessman, <laughs> VIP security protection. This is again open mind. Open mind. This is the most important. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Mr. Mastro. Uh, of course, you create your system uh, when you, you know too much about martial arts, other a lot of styles, and you create your 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 system uh, under this styles you know but in your opinion what's the best system in martial arts not in your system self-defense the best self-defense system in martial art like a krav maga karate uh jiu-jitsu or something like that what's the most realistic and most effective a system in martial art you know from self-defense yeah now for me for me krav maga is very good because it's excellent for prevention for prevention and they have good move for prevention. The big problem is they don't train good knife as they don't train good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or behind Jiu Jitsu. This is for me, they lose some some part, some part of this. I like GKD. GKD, I'm a big fan or respectful to Master Rino Santo. This is GKD, GKD is very important. But now, if you train only in 2020, only Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or behind Jiu Jitsu, you can survive of 90% of the fight, trust me. For sure, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for me is one of the best. If you can combine Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with Krav Maga or some move of Silat and GKD or Kali, again, it's impossible for me to say to you one style. It's impossible for me, impossible. Because if you think that one style is good, you lose. You lose. Yeah, I for, me, for me, you lose. But com combination of all this, and again, wrestling is very important. I train now ten years, more than ten years wrestling. I'm a, I'm a big fan of wrestling because again, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you are you control the guys. Okay, you go on the ground, but you need to know wrestling to avoid the wrestling. Yeah. If you don't train wrestling, it's impossible to avoid. It's not true. It's impossible. And again, but I'm a fan of, yeah, I'm a big fan of JKD for sure, because JKD is a train what I, French Shabbat, Kali, boxing, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling. 
for me, for sure, JKD is one of the best way. Is one, but you need many years. This is what I want to change with MDS. This is what I try to create with MDS because we don't have now for the violence. We don't have 20 years. The people they want a response quickly. You know, quickly. For sure, you need to train. Huh? It's impossible without training. Like the online course, I create my online course. Many people they say, yeah, it's not good. It's not realistic. Yeah, but it's a tools. Again, it's a tools. The online course, it's a tools. It's very important. I said it's bigger. It's, it's always better if you play ping pong than nothing. Go to tennis. <laughs> Go to baseball. <laughs> Don't stay on your sofa yeah. with the collar and look UFC. They are always better. Okay. Go to train. Go to train. It's very important. But the most important for me is the teacher. Number one is the teacher. The best way you can you can train uh, GKD if the teacher is not good, is not good for you. But maybe sometimes you can train a smallest system with a good instructor, and like this you have m good knowledge and you can respect all the style. But in general, I train more GKD, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Birang Jiu Jitsu for sure, and Kali. And Krav Maga too, because Krav Maga, 20 years ago, I hate Krav Maga. 20 years ago, I hate Krav Maga completely. I said, yeah, Krav Maga is bullshit, blah, 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 like many people. Because yeah. they try to sing about Krav Maga again in Octagon. Okay, go to fight with the master of Krav Maga in the street, not on internet. Go, beat him, and after we can see. And after we can see, it's the same. But for me, again, to say one one style, you know, if you are good karate guys, you can fight in the street. Imagine Kokushin guys, Kokushin, very strong guys. You can beat the normal guys in the street too. <laughs> All the style is good. It's depending the person. This is very important. I know many champions, they work with me in security. When they see three guys against me, they run. They don't help me. They run empty hands. Three guys on me. They don't help me. And they are champion. Huh? Trust me. Huh? Champion of boxing. Champion of Muay Thai. And blah, blah. And blah, blah. Trust me. They don't come to fight with me. Many times. Many times. And sometimes, a normal guy, a judo guy, a BGG guy, he come to fight. Because he knows the fight. You know? Again, depending the style. But yeah, I'm a fan of Penchak Zilat, Kali. Maga, GKD, DGG, wrestling. Depending again, what is, what is, what do you need? What, and depending also, where do you live? Because the rules are different every country. In America, you have gun. In Belgium, we don't have gun. <laughs> you know, in Brazil, the same in Brazil, you have all the weapon in the street. But in Belgium and Europe, only the bad guys have a gun. The good guys, they don't have gun, you know? Yeah. yeah. And for you, Master, what is your opinion, your Master, about this? Well, I consider it, for, for example, when you talk about self-defense, I learned a lot of things from many different martial arts. That there are always something good that you can exactly. absorb and you can use it. So uh, I think that's, uh, for example, there are not many persons that talk about, uh, 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 let me say, oh, what? Oh, man, that's a, sometimes. I'm, I'm at home for 150 days. So, man, I became a prisoner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because you, you, need to, you need to travel, Master. You need to share. You need to meet people oh, like man. me. That's, that's it. That's it. I don't know when I hear there is not much airplanes coming around here, but when I hear an airplane, I said I should be there. I should be there. I should be flying, going to everywhere, trying yeah. to teach and to deal with people. I love yeah. it. But there are, as I said, there are so many things, interesting things. But you have to have your heart and your mind open to learn. So every time I have a chance to be with you, I observe all the small details. Because there are a lot of things 
that will be helping me and uh, when I, I, I let's say when I teach because I, I have to add on my my knowledge things that you have experienced so and I can take it and talk about reality so many times when I talk about reality when I'm teaching uh, self-defense many persons said oh come on it had to be so hard my friend there are sometimes there's no way if someone attacks you you have two chances one if you are fast enough run but if you don't have a chance and you have to face be the better exactly and keep your life because otherwise yeah. your opponent is going to take your life out so that's that's it so it's uh i think that's uh i have been uh, around the world uh observing many different uh, martial arts seminars and i like all of them all of them small details always you get it and take it so uh and uh i have some uh, some experiences and uh, with a, i remember one time you made a uh was a screamer uh and kali and scream seminar at your place and uh i was very impressed how fast was uh using the baton and, and the knife boy i said man to be to to keep alive facing a person like that you have to be fast running not even shooting <laughs> not even shooting he has yeah, but... shoot on the floor just and he's gonna come at you and i'm gonna kill you before he dies <laughs> this is why this is yeah, this is what i teach my student to be conscient if you see me with a knife run because i'm not the best and many people are like me but with a knife you can die your family can cry tonight and when we and when we have seminar together it was a big honor for me and i like you i take all your move and i ask you many questions it was for me one of my best seminar because it's a real exchange it's a real exchange to be better for us for the student yeah for me it's always a, a big honor and i'm a royal and royal of you master all my life thank you thank you but i remember one thing you you, 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 you didn't talk much about this but i remember one time that you had a you had a, a anime fight it was uh, was interesting because I, my question for myself was why but you had been challenged someone challenged you so and and you was uh, as a warrior you got there and fought so that's a uh, and the guy was big big good yeah. 60 60 yeah. kilo plus 60 kilo more plus. 60 more that's right that's a lot 60 of kilo yeah and remember at this moment I just trained six months. It was the beginning of uh, my meeting with you. It's uh, 17 years, 17 years ago. But yeah. we have a security problem. It's not about uh, to testing my MDS, my style. We have a we have a problem because I'm a, I'm a boss of a security nightclub, and uh, he was a racket guys, well, a racket, you know, to my boss. And I invite him to fight in the street two days later, but uh, impossible to fight like a man. They come ten people with gun, with knife. Uh, okay, and after I saw organization and uh, and I call the guys and I say, oh, do you want the guys eighty kilo against one guys one hundred and forty kilo? And he said, oh wow, wow, first time in Belgium. Woo! And I said me. And I said, Fred, you are stupid. You don't go BGC, <laughs> you don't do MMA, you don't you don't boxing, you are crazy. I say, okay, but I go in Valetudo rules. Headbutt, yeah. elbow, no time limit, no gloves, and let's go. This is street. Valetudo for me, it's more, more, more realistic than MMA, than UFC. <laughs> Valetudo is the real one. Uh, for me, yeah. MMA is a sport. Valetudo is not a sport. <laughs> no, not sport. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm, and I saw all the fight and I said, okay, let's go. 
in uh, Valetudo rules, let's go. I don't train. I don't stop to smoke. You know, I smoke a lot. I don't stop. And I and I go with these guys. Okay, let's go. And let's go in the street rules. But two weeks before the fight, the police, they call me and these guys. And they say, oh, this is Belgium. No headbutt. No elbow. Nothing on the ground. And I say, what the fuck? What, what, what can I do? He said, uh, uh, boxing and on the ground, only grappling. Ah, yeah. <laughs> two weeks before the fight. And I said to my team, and my team said, Fred, don't go. You are crazy. And the guy said, Fred, now the rules is changing. Two minutes. I beat you in two minutes. I go, I go back home. I take my balls. I put my balls. They are, they are always on the same place. And let's go. And let's go. Before the fight, I was in the parking. I was smoking in the parking. <laughs> the referee come to pick up me in the parking. Fred, this is your fight. Yeah, just wait. I'm smoking. You smoke <laughs> before the fight. And I go. It was 10 minutes. 10 minutes. He, I lose at the decision. But it was a very good moment because he beat me 10 minutes, but I don't sleep. I don't go back. I explain to my student, don't look the technique. I don't have technique. Look the warrior. I don't go back. He punched me, punched me, punched me. But the most... The most important thing, you know what is it? Now we are like this. Mm -hmm. This is I win my fight because after the fight we became a big friend, a close friend okay. after the fight. Because he said to me, Fred, ten minutes, I, I I punch your fucking face ten minutes, and you don't sleep, you don't go back, you don't talk. No, and one moment, if you remember, beginning end of the first round. He was the Kimura, the Americana, yeah. Americana. And I, I'm starting to hear, to break. And my uh, my uh, coach, he said to me, Fred, 10 seconds. And I don't tap, you know. After the fight, he come to me, he said, Fred, my Americana was good. Yes, very good technique. Yeah, but I break your arm. What is the problem? I have another one. <laughs> he said, Fred, you are, he said, Fred, you are stupid. You are crazy. This is what you need to know about me. This is what you need to know about what I train my students. Not to attack people, but to survive and to be vicious. And if you need to, to, to eat your eyes, I hit your eyes. If I need to eat your teeth, I, need to, I hit your teeth. This is what I train. And after this, we have a fight. These guys and me against three guys in the street. Real fight. And we beat the three guys in one minute. Malik, the, the, the guys, and me against three guys. One minute, three KO. <laughs> and now we are very close because after this, he respect me and all this team respect me. And I say, okay, again, I'm not the best, but, but, point, point, point. <laughs> but another, an another story. I can tell this because now it's my friend and it's not mere respect. You can ask Master Behang two days, or three days after the fight, okay? I go. Yeah. Did you see me? Yeah. yeah I don't yes. sorry, I don't see you anymore. Okay. You can have the proof, Master Master. Three days after this fight, I go to a dojo in Brussels. This dojo is one of your students is one of your representatives. And I go to fight Malik in the street. Three days after, I go in the dojo and I say, okay, we go in octagon. Now, come on, we go in the street. Three days after, you can ask to Mr. Shapu, his dojo. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Ask to him. Ask to him. Uh -huh. But I don't talk about this. First time in my life I talk this okay. on, uh, on public. Because he trained yeah, to... Didn't know Ask to him Boy. three days after the fight. I go in the dojo and I say, Ah, you you tell that you beat me on the ring. Now let's go in the park. Three days after, and he said to me, No, now I respect you. And the fight between you and me is finished. You can ask to to Mr. Chaplin. 
<laughs> this is again the reality. This is again the reality. Okay, you beat me in your rules. No problem. No problem. I'm not the best. But before to critique me, come to beat me in my rules. And after this, you can tell that my system is bullshit. If you don't... <laughs> only on only on internet. This is this is the this is the big problem now. This is yeah. all this, they are all warrior on internet. And why why they critique all the people? All the people in the world now they critique people on internet. They don't respect the people. You know one one guy said to me one week ago, Yeah, you are bullshit, you don't train BGG, you are bullshit self defense. One week ago, Master, one week ago. And I said, these stupid guys, you make an opinion about me in one minute, in one video. You don't, you don't look on Google with Fred Masco. You don't look what I train, you know, not uh, what I teach, what I train. And I said to him, no, it's more than 50, 15 years I trained BGG. He said to me, oh, I don't know this. I don't know. Yeah, again, you make your opinion in one minute on the internet. And you don't find who is the guys. You need to respect all the guys. You need to respect the background. Yeah, I'm not the best on the ring. No problem. Come in my come in my area, and we can see, and we can see because the people they don't understand area is not empty hand one on one. If I have a rock, I put the rock on your face. This is what you need to know. Okay, if I have a knife, maybe I cut you. This is the reality, but. They know this, and they are afraid. This is why they just talk on the internet, you know? Yeah, that's right. That's but right. again, again, why? If you, are, if you are good in your system, try to help the people. Try to be better. Try to inspire the people. Right? Try to inspire the people. Stop to break the balls of people on the internet. Why? Because they have a problem of ego. Ego, that's right, yeah. 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 Uh, Mr. Master, we have more 10 minutes when I, we need to finish the broadcast. Uh, Master Flavio, do you have some advice to our spectators, our, the people watching us? Yeah, well, some advice. Okay, like, uh, like Fred, Fred uh, I, was, I was going to speak in French, oh man. <laughs> like Fred said, Look, uh, if you want to be good, first, you have to be good inside of you. And to be good inside of you, you have to exercise not only your body, but to exercise your, 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 the way you behave yourself. So if you want to learn self-defense, you must find someone capable and uh, with the real feelings and on the, on the other side a person that has experience not only person that talks so this is very important so another another important thing like fred said many times we respect everyone from every martial art but uh, one thing uh we don't have the best martial art. We have the best, better persons in the martial art. So the point is that if you are good, if you believe in yourself, if you trust in your, your capacity, so you may be good. But to build it inside of you, you must first uh, find a, a right place where someone we're going to help you to build it okay by yourself it's going to be a hard because then you must go to the street and find out by yourself and you may not survive so if you find some place that will direct you guide you to know how to behave yourself facing problems it doesn't matter if it is a physical problem, fighting problems, or uh, uh, business problem, familiar problem, family problem, so any any kind of problem, 
if you trust in yourself, if you are very confident about what you're, what you're capable to do, then you're going to overcome all those things. Fred Mastro, merci beaucoup. C'est un plaisir d'être avec toi. C'est magnifique. magnifique. It was an honor, Thank Master. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I, I hope to see you soon again in Belgium. Oh boy, yes, sir. I'll be, I'll be. As soon as the airplane accept me, I'll be flying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. And uh, 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 Giuliano, thank you very much. It was an excellent idea to invite Fred Mastro because I like this guy very much. Thank you, Master Flavio. Thank you. It's a pleasure ever, uh, always a pleasure have you in our broadcast. Master Mastro, I want to say uh, thank you very much for accepting the invitation. It's a great honor to talk with you here. And I think uh, I want as soon as possible, I can invite you to come to Cyprus and give you uh, give us a seminar with Master Flavio. And yeah. tell, tell, us, uh, tell for us, give you some advice, please. And we need to finish the broadcast. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for invitation. Thank you so much, I'm honored, Master Grandmaster Behang. It's a, always a pleasure to see you. You are a big inspiration of my life, and many people they need to look how he teach, how he is on the day, every time on the day, not just when he put the gi. <laughs> this is the for me the very important is if you are a good man outside of the dojo is very important too. Dojo is a small part of the life, it's not the life. The joy is to help the people. But the most important when you when you have a bad life is to be a warrior. Don't stop. Try to be better. Try to work. Don't don't talk bad about people. Don't talk shit. Do your job. Not just in martial art, in every style. I teach to my children to respect and to be strong because this world is very strong. The new the world is very strong. And you need to be good. And you need to be respectful of all the people. Much respect to all of you. Thank you, Master Mastro. Thank you for everybody to keep us until now. Uh, it's amazing broadcast everybody like. And I told, uh, I asked keep Mr. Mastro and Master Flavio in the studio. I finished the broadcast, but we keep our conversation here. Thank you very much.